Okay, so welcome back to our uh, discussion on genetic data analysis. We are the topic on uh, group frequency distribution of interval data. So in the last video, we, are ma we managed to get the uh, lower real limit and the upper real limit and also the class, uh, the class interval size and the number of intervals. So just to recap, so we have here our given set of data. So this is already arranged from um, lowest to highest. Then we we use the number of intervals 15. So that will be the the standard for our class. But if you are given the freedom to choose, so you will use the 2 to the k rule, this one. Okay, so in which we are going to select the range, so the 71 range falls on the 7. So we will have 7 interval if that is the if that is uh, if you are given the freedom to do so, to uh, choose, then in getting the class size or the interval size, so you must always run up to the nearest add number in order for our uh, real and upper limit to be continuous. Okay, so if for example, if you are going to round up because we are going to run up the nearest add number, so it is not always necessary that our class interval will be equal to 15. It is also um, will be lower than 15 in uh, most cases. So it's just okay as long at, as it will not go beyond 20. So the, because of the standard is from 5 to 20. It will not go beyond 20 and will not be lower to 20. Okay. Now what we will do here is to have the first three columns of our table or maybe we could have it four we just have the first four columns so the first column this one is for the real limits okay for the real limits so here you will write the uh, lower real limit in this side so that will be 79.5 then the next part in this part here you will write the upper real limit that will be 84.5 then the next interval so because our interval size is 5 so it is just easy so 79.5 minus 5 so this will be 74 and we just go have this one though go have this one here up to the last um, interval in which our lowest um, data could be accommodated. So we have 74.5 then this one is I believe uh, the next lower interval is 69.5 then we have Then after 69.5, we have 69.5, we have 64.5. So just subtract this one by 5. So this will be again become 59.5. Then we have 54.5. We have 49.5, 44.5. Thirty-nine point five, thirty-four point five. So just go over here. Okay. So after 34.5 we have twenty-nine point five. Then this is twenty-four point five. So still we, we could not accommodate our eleven data. So we have the eleven as the lowest. So we have next this is nineteen point five. Then we have 14.5 and 9.5 so here we could now accommodate our 11 so for this next part so the shortcut for this one is to just copy this one so we have copy this one or you just subtract 5 to our uh, 84.5 so this will be 79.5 so for me i just copy this one 74.5 then copy this one 69.5 Copy this one, so this is 59. Ah, uh, no, 64. Sorry for that. Uh, 
I so just copy this one here. So this is 64. Let's just write that digitally so that double confusion. So this is 64.5. Copy that one that is 59.5. Then copy this one. So this is 54.5. So we have 49.5. Then we have 44. 0.5 then we have 39.5 this is 34 34.5 we have 29.5 then that is 19 ah, 24 sorry 24.5 so this is 19 so this is 9 okay so 9.19.5 we have 14.5 Okay, so that is now our first column. Then next, the second column will be the integral limit. So integral limits. So the integral limits. So you just round up this one, the upper real limit, uh, the lower real limit, and round down this. Um, upper real limit. So, for example, round up, this is 80, then drop the 0 0.5 for the upper, 84. So that is how you're going to do it, and everything will be deducted by 5 and deducted by 5 from the other one. Or you guys do the same. So, this is 75, this will be 79, this is 70, so this will be 74. This is 65, so this will be 69. So this is 60. So we have here 64. This is 55, so this will be 59. This is 44, 50. So this drop the 0.5, so that will be 54. Then we have 45. And this will be 59. Ah, uh, 49, sorry. 49. Then we have here. 40 so this will be 44 then we have uh, 35 so this is 34 35 so this will be only 39 this is 30 so this is 34 25 so drop the 0.5 for 29 so that will be 29 this is 20, so 24.5, so that would be only 24. Then we have 14.5, so that would be 15. For the other one, this will be only 19. Then we have 10, and this will just be 14. Okay, so we have here now the second column, so integral limits. Now we will do the tally. So we have the tally, so it's just and the one purple okay, tally so the tally is just you are going to check if our data given data fall between the integral limit for example the first uh, integral limit 80 to 84 so we have we, so we will we will find data that is with that is within 80 81 82 83 and 84 so from this one we have one that is 82 so we will put here one okay next 7, 75 to 79 so that is 75 76 77 78 79 and we have 78 so we have here as one then we have 70 to 74 so that is 72 so 72 one then we have 65 to 69, so it will include 68. Okay, so we have one, and another 68, so we have another one. Then 66, because it is between 65 to 69, so one. And last is 65, so we have one. So we have one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four. Next, 60 and 64, so 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, so we have 62, so 3, 62, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, oh, only, only 3, so sorry for that, so just place 1 here, and then 60, so 60, so 
up here 1 then 55 to 59 so it includes this one 57 so 1 56 okay so it's within 55 to 59 another 56 so 36 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 so that is box 55 so we have 1 2 so we have 1 2 okay then we have next 50 to 54 so we have 54 here so 2 54 so we have 1 2 then 53 1 1 52 1 2 so 2 52 1 2 and 50 okay so we have 1 then 45 to 49 45 to 49 we have 48 this is 1 we have another 48 2 48 so we have 1 2 then 47 okay 47 is included so we have 2 1 2 and again i believe there's no other okay so all the 5 so that is from 49 so 1 2 3 4 5 and we go to 40 to 44 so we have 42 1 2 3 4 so 4 42 1 2 3 4 then we have 141 okay. then we have 39 okay 39 this is between 35 to 39 we have only one and we have also 38 okay so this one one I believe also 37 is included so this is 3 then we have 20, 30 to 34 so none so there's nothing for between that so 25 to 28 so we have 1 that is 28 so from 25 to 29 we have 1 and 3 then 17 uh, 20 to 24 so none so just put a dash on here to so say that is no entry so 15 to 19 so we have one that is 17 then 10 to 14 we have one for 11 so next we will have the total of that one of our tally and that is now our frequency okay. frequency okay so for this first interval we have one next we have one then one then this is four four we have here seven six then we have five five three zero one zero one one okay so let's just try to check this one So to check that one, we need to get the total frequency. So this is 7, 11, 18, 24, 29, 34, 37, 38, 39, 40. So the total frequency is 40. So therefore, our uh, tally is correct and our number of data we have, we have, we have tallied or we have represented all of the data in here. Okay, and the next video we will try to complete everything on the table. And as always, thank you for watching this video and keep on studying.